988 is a response to a cry for help. It's easier, it's nimble, not just for the person in crisis, but for a friend or a family member that needs resources or help. 988 means that we recognize in the United States that a person dies from suicide every 11 minutes. And it means that we recognize that our LGBTQ children are four times more likely to attempt suicide than their heterosexual peers. It means that we recognize that depression and anxiety in all of our children, and right now, especially black children, black boys, and that is associated stress with COVID and other things happening in their communities. It means that we recognize that suicide is a non-rational decision when someone sees that that's their only option and we're working to provide them more viable strategies and cognitive solutions so that they don't feel that way and remove the stigma. 988 means we recognize all the children who lost parents and grandparents during COVID and are now struggling. It means that we recognize that it's a true crisis in our country and it's an all government approach from Congress and from our senators and Secretary Becerra and President Biden and Vice President Harris and the FCC and the, uh, the VA and SAMHSA leading this. And now 988. That will save lives with timely services and intervention. COVID-19 exasperated a problem we already had. We had a serious problem before COVID-19. As a result of COVID-19, almost 40% of our adult population had anxiety or, or some form of a mental uh, challenge, and less than one-third got help during that period of time. So we know that we had a, a serious challenge that was made a lot worse as a result of COVID-19. We're losing close to 50,000 folks a year to suicide, almost 50, and 60% of those are gun deaths. Uh, so this is a really, really important issue. We know that one call, one discussion, one person can stop that impulsivity uh, that leads us to the loss of a life. And that's why it's so important to make sure people understand the difference between 988 and 911. Absolutely. And if we can make that clear to them, then what will happen is the response that people who are in crisis will get will be someone who's a professional with mental health care services or suicide services, not necessarily law enforcement. Uh, thank you all uh, very much for, for coming out and being part of this uh, round table. If you find our videos useful to you, like, share, and subscribe to our channel.